Processing a glucose EQA sample to keep your barcode active. Proficiency. An external quality control sample is sent out to all areas that have glucose trained staff. It's to check that the meter is producing reliable results and that you have the right te testing technique. The sample looks like this. It has a barcode that resembles a patient sample, so it should be tested like a patient sample. To perform this test, you need to be wearing the correct PPE. You need to have a QC device. The device locks out when it needs QCing. You need a sharp spin, strips that are in date, disinfecting wipes, an active barcode, and the barcoded EQA sample. You log in on the meter, click login, and scan your barcode, then click accept. From this point, please follow the prompts on the top bar of the screen. Enter the strip lot by scanning the barcode on the strips part. Enter the district number by either scanning the barcode on the bottle or manually inputting the number using the keypad. The on-screen details will confirm you've scanned an EQA sample. Click Accept. If the invalid patient ID message appears, please click New Patient Override. The meter has to be on a flat surface. Insert the strip the correct way. The chip goes in the port. Mix, then gently squeeze the bottle to produce a hanging drop without an air bubble. Test by making the strip come into contact with the drop. You have to use the meter facing this way so that the solution does not go into the strip port. The testing takes 6 seconds. When you have your result, click Accept. Thereafter, you eject the strip into a sharp spin. You then click log out so that no one else can use the meter under your details. You clean the meter after each test with wipes. Then dock the meter so that the results can be transmitted across to your point of care records to keep your barcode active. These EQA samples are distributed every three months. The testing window is two weeks from date of distribution. Any tests performed after the testing window will be invalid.